please welcome the very funny Brody Stevens. Brody Stevens. Brody Stevens. Brody Stevens. Brody Stevens, come on over. Yes! Put your hands together right now for Brody Stevens. I am a professional. I've been doing this for about five weeks now, okay? I mean, look. This unionization of these homeless guys, are they gonna go on strike or something? I mean, they get all the medical and dental benefits. I mean, it's just the end of that joke. Anyway. Welcome to the first annual Brody Birthday Bash, celebrating the comedy of Stephen Brody Stevens. I'm Mike Gibbons, a friend of Brody's who helped create his documentary series, Enjoy It. This show tonight benefits Comedy Gives Back, a charitable organization that provides all kinds of support for struggling comedians. Tonight will feature three full Brody Stevens performances, and in between those, Zach Galifianakis, Jeff Ross, and other comedian friends of Brody will share a story or two about him. I'll start with a short one. Zach and I created Enjoy It. Uh, it was Brody's show that first aired on HBO and then on Comedy Central. We went to HBO to pitch the idea. Zach and I are sitting in the lobby and Brody's a little late. And then all of a sudden, Zach and I hear the tambourine and it's echoing off the marble walls in the HBO lobby because Brody brought his tambourine from his car to the pitch. That sort of set the tone for the pitch. Um, inside, Zach begins the pitch formally, gets a few sentences in, and Brody screams out, yes, HBO gets it. And HBO... <laughs> HBO is just sitting there like, um, yeah, we followed the Sopranos with the wire. I, I th we think we get it. Thank you. And that got a nice tambourine shake. During the pitch, there were a few slow moments, more than a few. And during those, Zach and I had planned, we'll just tee up Brody with something. So in the middle of this HBO <laughs> pitch, all of a sudden, Zach's like, Brody, top streets in Los Angeles, Satakoy, Verdugo, followed by like eight more. I couldn't even hear the eight because I was laughing so hard. Another slow moment would come along and I'd ask Brody, Brody, do you ever get lonely? Yes! Sometimes I go down to the batting cage just to play catch. Um, so HBO saw all of this and still picked up the show. Um, they picked it up in the room and at the moment they did, Zach, without missing a beat, goes, you're kidding, right? Did you hear anything we just said? Well, working with Brody was a complete adventure. I don't have to tell any of you that. I'm sure you've heard about it and can imagine it. And although I don't miss being a passenger in the car when the driver is playing drums on the steering wheel with drumsticks, um, I did love everything about that production. And I'm proud we raised awareness about the mental health struggles of a comedian. So tonight, please press the donate button down below to help Comedy Gives Back in their efforts to help comedians in need. And thank you very much and enjoy the show. <laughs> Five foot free fall. <laughs> Thanks. And when they fail, which is the best, when they fail, then that's when he strikes. Why'd you not laugh? <laughs> Why did you not laugh? It is, never was about the jokes, it was about the in-between of the jokes. Um, what, 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 what don't you like about it? Why are you not laughing at that? That hurts me and my father. New bit, new bit, I tried it out. I mean, come on, you gotta give me a chuckle based off Cadence alone. I'm pushing it. I'll kick the ceiling and wake the neighbor. This guy dressed up, way to go, I like it. What do you do, sell copiers? What's the deal? Why is that a rip? Again, when I do crowd work, give a chuckle to the audience member. Don't turn on me. I'm professional. I've been in this business now for six weeks. When you don't laugh, it hurts my feelings. I hear you not laughing. I feel you not laughing. 2,000 television shows in Hollywood. You're lucky I'm here, Canada. That's a fun joke. I like doing that joke. I will not quit on that joke. That joke will grow. It will, it, it will blossom like photosynthesis with sunlight 
and water and positive energy. You help me, I help you. I scratch your back, you shave mine. Arms cross negative, arms cross negative, hands in your crotch negative, 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 negative! I'm positive energy, you got it. Thank you, thank you very much. I know many of you are trying to figure out where I was in the hangover. How many people saw me in the hangover? You know, I was in the hangover. Who saw me in the hangover? Two people. Great. I know you're looking at me. You're trying to find out where he was in the movie. Are you going to be a jerk to me? Are you in the hangover? I let her know I was in the hangover, the number one R-rated comedy of all time. Who wants me to do my line from the hangover? <laughs> and I'll tell you something. I'm probably legally not allowed to do the line, but I don't care. I don't care, I'm a maverick, I push it, I take chances. I'm doing my line from The Hangover! All right, the scene is the police station. I walk in. Here we go. Three, two, one, action. So after, after we, we take their mug shots and bring them on down, down here where they wait to be interviewed, to be interviewed by, the interviewed by the arresting officers. Trust me, kids. You, do you don't want, want to be sitting, sitting on these benches. These benches. We, we call, call this place Loserville. Loserville. Yes! Number one R-rated comedy! You know... It's my 43rd take. I mean, I, I've been sitting here for... Birdie is somehow inconveniencing me from the afterlife. On. I'll edit that out. Hi, uh, my name is Zach Gaspafanaski. Thank you so much for uh, joining us to celebrate Stephen Brody Stevens. Brody Stevens, um, brought to you by Comedy Gives Back, a wonderful organization that helps support uh, comedians. Okay, this is a uh, um, it's odd to do in a room when there's no audience, but. Uh, uh, I'm going to talk about Brody briefly, and uh, but before I do, I just wanted to um, plug a, a tour date. Uh, if you're in Tampa, Florida, August 15th through the 18th, I will be at Uncle Tampon's Comedy Cave and Restaurant uh, performing. So, uh, and I'm fully vaccinated. And if you're fully vaccinated, please come on down. I got my Pfizer, my two Pfizer's. I also got just a you know, be extra cautious, four Johnson & Johnsons, six AstraZenecas, two Modernas, and one Battlestar Galactica. So I'm all vaccinated. Um, Brody. I've told a lot of stories about Brody on camera, and uh, I didn't really want to repeat that, but I, I was thinking about the last time we dined. Brody and I used to um, dine a lot, at, uh, about to eat. It was never Dutch. Um, Brody is very missed. I miss him dearly. Matter of fact, Brody, if you're, if, if for some chance you're listening to this, I, I just wanted to let you know that I'm okay with a haunting. If you want to haunt me, that's fine. I don't want to be spooked. But just maybe show up in poltergeist form and we can have a visit um so yeah the last time brody and i dined uh i uh was lucky enough to use my name and i got us a table at, at a denny's and um by the way brody eating was a sight to behold he never closed his mouth it's just a little side <laughs> side information. Um, while we were at dinner, Brody Brody always liked to talk about credits, that his TV credits, what he's been on, building his resume, that kind of thing. And uh, he was telling me uh, during lunch or dinner that uh, you know those Google cars that um, take pictures of exteriors of everything, privacy ruiners. Um, they had taken a picture of Brody as he walked down the sidewalk. And he was telling me this, and he shows me the photo. 
on his phone, and it's a photo of Brody walking down the sidewalk. But he also was carrying a, a selfie stick videotaping himself. And I said to him, Brody, what is the point of the story? He goes, what do you mean what's the point of the story? It's another credit. This is going on my resume that I've been on Google Maps. The beauty of Brody to me is that you never knew exactly the, the truth of it, the, the truth of his world, uh, which is interesting. Um, I miss Brody. I know that he would be thrilled with all this attention. He, he, he would be. Um, and I thank everybody that loved Brody continues to love him, and hopefully Ghost Brody will come visit us all. This is the power of the internet, the power of the people. We don't need to watch NBC Channel 4. We make it happen. After the show, I'm going up on Lank... Where's the Lankersham? Vineland? All right. <laughs> Let me put this on me right now. You guys are a great audience. That's what everyone is saying on Yelp. This audience is hot. Thank you for not laughing. I'm on the internet. hey -o. Welcome to the San Fernando Valley. Let's do it. Yes, yes. Dodgers, baby. This is my life. He's got a Giants cap on. Kick his ass. He's from San Francisco. He's probably a millionaire kicking out homeless people. Silicon Valley money. If you want to think right here, do that. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at somebody not from Hollywood, not from Chicago, not from New York, not from Seattle, not from Kansas City. You know where I'm from? The San Fernando Valley. <laughs> Who wants some? I walked here. Come get me. I'll meet you on Camarillo outside the Jersey Mike's. I'm double parked at Hamburger Habit. I still got the little timer in my glass. Yeah. You guys are an awesome crowd. Let me sit down on the stool. Where is this thing from? It's like a sex thing. Oh, it feels good. Oh, yeah. Look at my shoes. Pretty cool, right? Look at the socks. James Harden, he's from L.A. Tonight, he scored 56 points for the Houston Rockets. Oh, you're Laker fans? No. You know what? I'm a good guy. I'm from the same, I'm from Tarzana Elementary. Where did you go to high? Let me do some crowd work. Where are you visiting from? I'm from LA. I believe it. Thank you for being specific. I'm giving up my whole life. Where'd you go to high school? St. Lucie. St. Lucie, you got it. Sounds Catholic. What city is that in? Glendora, that's on the 210. You pass San Dimas, you say goodbye to Raging Waters, and you end up halfway to San Bernardino, where it's dangerous. <laughs> You're a good guy. You're good. You didn't want to make eye contact with me. Where are you visiting from? I'm here to hook up. I'm on Bumble. <laughs> I, I'm a good looking guy. My skin is good. I take apple cider vinegar. I'm healthy. I'm feeling good. I'm excited to be here. I don't need Hollywood. We're in the valley. This is flat. We're below sea level. This is the real deal. You're a good guy. You're visiting from Glendale. Where are you from? Uh, North Hollywood. North Hollywood. That's where my dad went to high school. You remember him? <laughs> Very good looking. I've done a lot of modeling in Pakistan. I am... Uh, <laughs> I can do that old show, right? That works. I'm playing Squidward in the next uh, live action movie. I just have to own it. 
Dodger cap, giant cap. You're a good guy. You look like Vladimir's dad. Are you from the Dominican? No. Todo el mundo me gusta Dominica? This guy came by himself. Ladies, give him a chance. Give this guy an opportunity. He's a single male like myself. We're dangerous. Where you, where'd you go to high school? Uh, San Francisco. San Francisco, the big one. <laughs> what, do you, what brings you down here to LA? You scout for the You live up the street. Yeah. Guy just wanted to get out on a Sunday night. He didn't want to watch 60 Minutes. He didn't want to watch <laughs> NFL football. He wanted to see real life people, not on their cell phones. How you doing? They want to. <laughs> This is what we need, folks. A lot of people say the world's negative. It's not. You come into a comedy club, and it's the real deal. There's Latino people. There's white people. There's a, a guy who was born Jewish, raised Gemini. Do you think I was bar mitzvah? Do you think I wanted to hang out with those kids playing soccer? F that. I went to Reseda. I hung out with the late bus. I played soccer with the ESL kids. Come at me. I speak English as a third language. I don't know, it's nothing. Oh, you're bored with me. I planned all day for this. No, I didn't do anything. I'm already out of, I'm already out of gas. But I do crowd work. You're visiting from Spain. It's Europe. Where are you from? Where you where are you from? Redlands, California. What did I tell you? That's off the 10 freeway near Loma Linda Medical Center where they had the first uh, baboon heart transplant. Do you know about that? Did you know that? There was a baboon heart transplant. It was done in Redlands, California. But what do I know? I'm only on one of the hottest Sunday night shows in L.A. right now. Go to the Laugh Factory and shut down. Go to the Improv. They probably have a comedy traffic school. Go to the Comedy Store. It's probably a third-party show. This is a real show. You got the owner here. He bought me um, a Red Bull and vodka. He probably, probably got dosed. I don't know what's going to happen after this. I heard they do things with comedians here. But I'm willing to do what it takes to get back on this show. Guys, great news. Who saw me in The Hangover? Okay, who recognizes me from The Hangover? Nobody. I was also in the... Who saw the movie Due Date? Due Date with Robert Downey Jr. And Zach, I was in that also. You don't recognize me. Huh. You know what? What's that? You're on the road. Part of it? Of what movie? Look at this guy getting aggressive. You don't do that with me. I played a town car driver at the Ontario airport. So I was on the road, going in circles with Robert Downey Jr. And I don't get recognized for being in those movies. You know why? I'll tell you why. Because I'm a good actor. That's why. And great news, guys. I just got a call back. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, to be an extra on a podcast. So, uh, I'm excited about it. I got a meeting with Joe Rogan. This guy's tall. How tall are you? You look like a similar body to me. You take supplements? You just get done doing push ups in the lobby? This guy's ripped. Where are you from? Youngstown, Ohio. Welcome. Oh, that's a good comp. Do you know a lot of comedians? Are Tony Henchcliffe? You know Tony? No, I don't know. Tony. He's a popular guy. He's from Ke Kelly Pavlik, the boxer. I know Kelly Pavlik. Yeah. You know him? Yeah, personally. Oh. Didn't know you guys were dating. Okay. Young, there's some other guys. Oh, Ray Boom Boom Mancini. Yes, sir. A lot of boxers come from that town. See, I'm educated. I read. I went to Reseda. I took my SAT at San Fernando High School. I cheated off uh, Ricky Valens. Did you know when you take your SAT, you get 300 points for just signing your name? True story. I signed my name three times and walked out. <laughs> Times are tough. I have, if this doesn't work out, I don't know. I have two other jobs. I work at Dave and Buster's. Um, that hurt. That hurt. I'm suing this place. I hope you guys have Obamacare. Take me to Kaiser tonight, Panorama City. I gotta raise my leg up. Look at my legs. I'm pretty ripped. Not bad for a 47 year old guy.
We take, who takes apple cider vinegar here? Anybody? You do? This guy in the back? Good job. You do? I know you did because you're a go-getter. What do you do? You look like you have some, some shady stuff. What you do? Are you an adult video producer? Do you work at 2020 Odyssey Video? Adult okay. video performer. Oh, look at this guy. He's not, you're not, you, I'm not going to ask you to pull your pants down. Um, what are you, three inches and crooked? You got it. Stay with me. I'm getting attacked. No, he's a good guy. You're a good guy. Um, I'm doing well. I make money. It's a good feeling to be able to take my mother out to lunch and pay half. I can do that. My mom's 86. She lives in Palm Springs. She's an Uber driver. Uh, I just got her GPS. On Star, we had the chip implanted in her neck. Um, whatever, you don't want the jokes. Where'd you go to high school? What high school? How do you not know? How do you not know? Put her in a lie. You don't lie to me. I read body language. My family's in the desert southwest. I'm spiritual. Stay with me, guys. Stay with me. I get lonely. Sometimes I go down to the batting cage just to play catch. <laughs> oh, you're getting tired on me? You're getting tired on me. Well, I gotta get my car fixed tomorrow. Over in Burbank, Sarkis, Armenian. <laughs> Pay him cash. And we talk religion. He's God fearing. The Armenians. God fearing. <laughs> Keep it going for God. Let him hear it. Yeah. Oh, Latinos don't believe in God? I'll get you, I'll get you a candle at the 99 cent store. Sick of people attacking God. Give it up for spirits. That's what they do, these Hollywood types. They try and, uh, and rip, rip my medals off. It's satanic over there. I'm so happy to be here in the valley. The real people, man. I'm a good guy. I do neighborhood watch in cities I don't even live in. I just show up. I've got a flashlight. I've got my Chuck Taylors. I'm looking for skateboarders with backpacks and 30-year-olds on BMX bikes. Where are you? They're all over this neighborhood. Give the wait staff a nice hand. They're working very hard. All legally documented. You can call, ask for the paperwork. She legally has to pull it out. Now, I can't speak for the guys in the back. I can't speak for the back of the house. Who knows what's going on back there? Why did I get such a reaction on that? Let me do a few more crowd works. So you're from Youngstown? Why'd you move out? You moved out here? Yes, what, are you an actor? Are you like, uh, you want to be a host? You're a host or an actor? Like for, you're an actor. You take any acting classes? Yeah. Good job. You got headshots? Yeah. 11 by 17? <laughs> Laminated? You got to stand out in a pile. You got to be different. Look at me. I'm very hairy. I went for a swim out in Venice Beach and I clogged the drain. I think they gave me the light. I'm going to wrap it up. What's the host name? Because I yelled at you. I remember what's your name again? JR. JR. Well, who was on the show that day? Do you remember at Best Damn Sports Show? Marlins, they won the World Marlins Wayans? He's cool. <laughs> oh, Florida Marlins? Yeah, they won the World Series, I think. Josh Beckett, I think, was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 97. No. This is later. Know. So, guys, if you know that, let me tell you what. Everyone settle down. O2. Everyone settle down. Settle, settle, settle. I'm a good guy. I'm wrapping it up. Settle, settle, settle. Because I want you guys to have a good week. You're positive. I love doing comedy here. I'm reading it. we got a few more. Yes, I did audience warm-up for Best Damn Sports Show, a thousand shows there. I did, I've done 3,000 TV shows. All my shows, they get going. It's energy, 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 push, push, push. This crowd has energy. you got to put out energy. And that's how I do these shows, energy. And uh, so you remember that day? Yeah, you yelled at me. <laughs> but it may, did you deserve it maybe or like it helped? Yeah, you told me, oh, you think you're funny? Here, take the mic. And I took the mic and you're like, Get the fuck down. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but now look at you. You're doing great. Give JR a nice hand. I yelled at him. I got in his face. I broke him down. I saw tears. Eight years later, he's on the same stage with me. JR, I'm proud of you. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Push. Where are these chicks 
go and grab him. I'm gonna pull her hair. <laughs> Give it up for Bronny Stevens. Give it up, guys. Come on. You got it. Positive push. I'm feeling great. You got it. Positive from negativity. Positivity. New Orleans. L.A. Yes. Getting chicks. Hooking up. Believing in it. Doing that. Driving to Palm Springs tomorrow to see my mother. If you're down in Palm Springs tomorrow, let's hang out while she takes a nap. <laughs> Remember any of my bits? I probably would if you told me. I don't, can't tell you offhand. Probably talk about... How I went for a swim out in Venice Beach and I clogged the drain. I talked about how I booked another movie. I did book another movie, Mom. You did? Yeah, it's an adult video. You're supposed to laugh. All right, that's off the list. <laughs> I didn't laugh at that. Okay. This is part of the process, having your mom tell you that you're not funny <laughs> and you need jokes and yeah. you're going to bomb on the Conan show. I Thank didn't. you. <laughs> I didn't say all that, but that is funny. <laughs> Please stop that. Gosh, so gross. Stephanie, wave to the camera. We did it. We've come full circle, right, Stephanie? Yes. Yeah. Enjoy it. Say that, Stephanie. Go, enjoy it. Enjoy it. A little louder. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. A little more, Stephanie. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Yes. Right, Stephanie? Yes. I want to say thank you. All right, listen, you guys are great. You got me. I think they gave me the light. Could I go more? Yes. Why not push it? Make them edit me out. Make them come be on stage and grab me. No way, brother. I work out. This is my night. Is my tinted clear still running? Okay. All right, listen, they gave me the light like I said. I'd mentioned that three times. Arms crossed negative. I read energies. I'm from New Mexico, pioneering Jews of the Southwest. Where do UFOs land? New Mexico. We invented crop circles. Where are you from? You're from right here. Keep it going for this guy, he's from right here. So you're telling me I'm performing in your living room? No. This is my life. All right, I'm hopped up on five-hour energy shots. But you guys are a great audience. Thank you very much. Brody Stevens, Hangover 1, Hangover 2, Due Date, Last Comic Standing, and Bull from Night Court. Moses. Yes, sir. Can I talk about... Yes, Brody, you can. Can I talk, take a minute at a roast battle to talk about Brody Stevens? Uh, it's his birthday coming up, and Brody Comedy Stevens. Gives Back is a great organization that helps out comics in need. Woo! And they raise money for comics when we're out of work, and they, they, they bring a lot of awareness uh, and financial aid to people with uh, mental health issues called Comedy Gives Back. And uh, uh, our pal Brody Stevens, uh, who is a roast battle family he would judge roast battle all the time uh he also closed al almost every night here in the main room so the fact that roast battles in the main room right right before brody's birthday is pretty cool and i knew there'd be a lot of comedians that love brody here tonight so um uh, i promise the comedy gives back people uh i would just give brody a shout out from everybody here and uh um one of my favorite brody jokes ever uh you know, they just had the inductions announced uh, for this year's nominees for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. If anybody remembers this joke, Brody used to say, you know, they have a, at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, you know, they have a Nickelback tour jacket at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, it's in the lost and found, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so shout yeah. out to Brody. Uh, if anybody. Um, if anybody wants to, to tell a quick Brody story or say their favorite joke, uh, Dom Barris is here, Paulie's here, um, the judges. We could just take a minute and do this since we have some time. Dom, will you come over here in the light? Yeah, Brody, Brody, Brody. In, in honor of Brody's birthday, 
uh, the great uh, friend of Don and the, uh, w- uh, the 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 rivalry in 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 uh, in uh, in Brody's uh, who's the best warm up guy in L A. <laughs> uh, the great Don Barris, everybody. I just want to say one. There's so many things. I really looked at everything about Brody, and I realized long before all this stuff happened, he was my best friend in my eyes of comics that I knew. And a lot of people say, Don, you got your shit so together. (laughs) And uh, (laughs) I'm not as together as you think. And I remember going to a therapist one time, and within 15 minutes, they wanted to give me medication. And I watched the shit that Brody went through. And something's got to be done because that guy was up and down constantly. Oh, I'm off. I'm on. And I love the man. And I just, it really fucking sucked. Paulie's here, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Don. Yeah, my, without, my, without so Brody beautiful. Stevens. That was so beautiful. We don't get Jeff Ross over there. So really, I mean, Brody Stevens is kind of the catalyst for, for how us getting on television, us having this long run of seven fucking years. I mean, without Brody, yeah, yeah, we really don't we, we don't start this thing. So shout out Brody Stevens. Yeah. Uh, he must have judged more than anybody in the beginning, right, Brian? Yeah, he was he was you. He was like the he was the consummate judge for the most part. He would be in the corner just yelling and screaming and yeah. he was here. Right. There. right. <laughs> yeah. A lot of comics want to be big on black Twitter. I'm big on gay Ben Mo. <laughs> That's Brody. Sarah, you got it. Sarah, Sarah, do you have a story about Brody? I have a story. My favorite Brody joke is always like, Yeah, I do get lonely. Sometimes I go to the batting cage just to play catch. Uh, it's one I of the still best. make you wear the helmet, but I put in my tokens. Uh, <laughs> but Brody did a uh, warm up for our show, for your show. The I burn. Heard your show, yeah. The Burn. <laughs> I say our show. Well, it was our I show. Was there. It, but, you know, Brody famously during warm up or like when he did crowd work would always ask people where they were from. Then he would tell you what exit it was off of, <laughs> of wh- and what street and what highway it connected to. So. And one time we were, when he was warming up the burn, <laughs> he asked this lady where she was from, and he said, she said, Thailand. And he goes, oh, I've been, th- what stream? And, uh, <laughs> and it always made me laugh because he was still trying to connect because he had shot Hangover 2 in Thailand. <laughs> and he knew those places. <laughs> anyway, that was my That's story. So Which lady boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite things was when Don, you would uh, challenge Brody, or he would challenge you to roast battles, <laughs> and you would b- we'd have to pull you apart so you wouldn't fight. And then, of course, neither of you would ever schedule the roast <laughs> battle. Uh, anybody else? I, I, it's hard to talk about, but I I love Brody. I miss him so much. I I'll never forget the night he told me he was ten percent gay. <laughs> I. <laughs> I, I, we, we asked him why. He said, I, I enjoy watching men with men. They're nice. They're bodies. Uh, <laughs> and then we, Dom Irera walked up, and we, he told Dom, he goes, does that make me 10% gay? And he goes, no, full. You're a full <laughs> queer. Yeah, that's, about, that's 100% Brody efficacy on the gayness, yeah. <laughs> what? It's 100% efficacy well, 100%, on the gayness. 100%, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All, all I can say about Brody, the thing I love, and this goes way back, to back in the day when we were starting, it's that late night spot, right? It's that the last spot when the crowd is worn out and everybody's been there, and then you got to go up and battle and pull something out of your ass and some kind of energy. And Brody was always that guy, and I was always happy to see him because when I saw him, I knew I didn't have to do that fucking spot. I was like, thank God, Brody's here to take that. But no, that that as a comic, you know that the battle, you talk about battle. Yeah. Like, that's the battle when you're last. And he was always going up last, and he was okay with it. And as a comic, you just love that. You, you talk yeah. about being a, a comics comic, right? It's a cliche, but Brody was that. Brody was a comic. And he had that love of being a comic. And when you love it, you, you're like, hey, it's a shitty spot. You got to go up last. You're like, let's do it. You know, so yeah, I love the guy. Mad it's respect. And, and again, like, like Don a- was saying, it, the the mental health aspect of it, I think for a lot of us, the only place we find sanity is on that stage. Yeah. You know, that's the only place we find it. So, 
Much love to Brody, man. Sorry we lost him. We lost him uh, in a very sad way, way too soon. But he continues to spread positive energy. Uh, I don't know a comedian. There's not a, like how many comedians other than Rodney Dangerfield and a few people like you remember their jokes and the way they talk and Brody arms really crossed negative. Effect. If you don't, if you don't know Brody, look him up. I promise it's worth it. One of his catchphrases was um, uh, uh, "push and believe." <laughs> so can we, can we give him a big birthday? Uh, Shout out in honor of the great Brody. Happy birthday! One, two, three, push and believe. Happy birthday, Brody! Eight one eight. Tell I push and believe. Yes. Push. All right, Brody. You got it. Roast battle. Enjoy it, Brody. Yes. Push. Brody. Yes. Happy top five streets in LA. (laughs) Happy birthday, Brody Stevens. You got it. Welcome to Hillhurst. I'm back. I am ready to greet you, to let you know that uh, I'm in a good place today. I bought printer ink. Uh, I was on the phone with some friends in San Jose who work for HP. Service. They called me back. I have a case number. They hooked up the deal where he was running my computer at a wild mouse on my laptop. He should have gave me a heads up. That keep it going for the fire truck. Yes. Was I in a fire truck ten days ago? Yes, Tempe, Arizona. Why? My former roommate. You got it. Is a fireman. I went out on a call. We had a downed motorcyclist on the Tempe Mesa border. Uh, they were like the speed guys, you know, like on the little uh, motor. I didn't care, you know. You're. I don't like. I'm not into the motorcycle noises. I'm not. I don't like the motorcycle noises, and I don't like the the groups of the motorcyclers. Get them out of here. Move them. I'm sick of it. I'm out on the corner of Laurel Canyon in Riverside, and it's a freaking war zone across the street from Gelson's. They're not fixing the sign from the windstorm. It's not happening. Look at Howard and uh, Jeremy having a good time talking about the next party at the Echoplex. I'm trying to do professional stand-up entertainment. I hear there's a talent scout from Coachella here. I want to do security. I've got a yellow event staff coat. I'm telling you, I'll go into the mosh pit. I get respect now. Kind of. I don't know. Yes! Feel the marine layer coming off the Silver Lake Reservoir. Yes. Was it windy the other day? It certainly was. Did I say it made up for all the rain that got the numbers positive in the drought? Yeah. I tweeted that. And it didn't get much. But ten minutes later, Fritz Coleman walked into my Starbucks. All right, you got Jeremy and Howard. Guys, I have OCD. I'm on Lamick doll. Uh, I vandalized a dollhouse in Sacramento. Give me a break. I played baseball, and I, I was a pitcher, and I was known for balking. I got nervous, and I dropped the ball. Literally, there's a lot of baseball fans. Let's do some crowd work. Funk Unlimited. Yes, I like it. Where, I just want to have a conversation. Where did you go to high school? Where did you go to high school? San Fernando High School. San Fernando, the Tigers, where I took my SAT, home of Richie Valens. LAPD, they don't go to San Fernando. They lock it down with your own police department. Stay out. This is the 210, this is the 118, this is the 5, back off. Take it to Silmar if you got an issue with me. I'm San Fernando, the Tigers of black and yellow, just like white stripes. No, Jack Jack White, is he's in a black and yellow. Black and yellow, black and yellow. 
oh, oh, excuse me, I guess you were at the Jack White vinyl printing <laughs> shop in Detroit. Okay. I guess you've been there where they where they print up all the albums in Detroit with Jack White. Okay. You think the white stripes are just red and white? That's old. Black and yellow is the theme. Somebody Google it to prove it. See you went to San Fernando. Okay. Oh, you don't like when I talk to you. You just want to sit like you're at Lemley's Theater and not have interaction because you outgrown UCB. <laughs> Fairfax and Sunset. They're everywhere. They're like Scientology of improv. Take it down a notch. Okay, I'm, I'm from the valley. I went to Reseda, 818 till I die. You got it. Who's not from here? You're not from here? Then get out. <laughs> Locals only. You think it's rough at the, the beach in Palos Verdes? What's that? You're a good guy. Where are you visiting from? You? Yeah. Oh, you live here. He lives here at the Ensenada Taco Place. Yes. He's very comfortable. Where'd you go to high school? You don't want to know. You know what? I do crowd work every day. I created Chelsea. I created Ridiculousness. I created every show on Fox Sports Network. I talk. Thank you for being here. So where'd you go to high school? What high school? Out of state. Why, why am I getting pushback? I lived in Seattle. I went to Arizona State. I was a tour guide at Radio City Musical. I was at the Cubs World Series celebration. I have a brain. Where in the hell did you go to high school? Yes, answer the fucking question. West Plains High School, West Plains, Missouri. There you go, Missouri, Ferguson. Camp, that's, that's where he's from. He's from Ferguson! I saw you! I saw you! At the convenience store where the little Indian guy got thrown into the Funyuns rack. I saw you on RT. That's what I'm on. I'm on RT. I read Cernovich. You got it. I'm deep into the dark state of the Illuminati. I'll take you toward the Terminator was filmed in the L.A. River. No, there's an Illuminati 9-11 deal. Hopter's right now. Hopter's right now on Brody. You don't think I've been pulled over by the LAPD for periscoping the Karate Kid mural? It happened. You don't think the Mesa police came at me for smoking pot in the Sheridan? They did. And they go, oh, we got you on camera being loud. I go, no, I wasn't. And they go, yes, you were. I go, no, I wasn't. And I wasn't arrested. Thank you. Been I've been detained four times. Never arrested because I'm a good guy. You're a good. You're like a local kid. Where'd you go to high school? Crescenta Valley. Crescenta Valley. That's up there. He's got his hand in his pocket. Touching himself, you never know. It's accepted. If it feels good, do it. Oh, you don't like them over here now. I hang out at the Hollywood Walk of Fame. All right, let me do some more. Who's smoking pot tonight? What is this, a straight edge crowd? What is this, a, a crew meeting for newfound glory? A frickin' break. I listen to NPR AM. <laughs> Play hardball with me. <laughs> Keep going on Periscope, folks. I'm the one guy still on Periscope. I'm going down with it. It's got me three gigs. Thank you. It's paid for itself in data. Let me walk around here. 
hold on. I got a tennis elbow. If you're a good guy, I have a Dodger cap on. Why weren't you at the game tonight? Too broke. Too broke. It's like five bucks. No. No. All right. Did you? But you got a beer tonight. How much was that beer? Twelve. Twelve bucks. You could be sitting in the bleachers at Dodger Stadium for twelve bucks, ten bucks, eight bucks, if you wanted it bad enough. But you're wearing the hat. It's okay. Let me put my camera down. It's hard to do this. Hold that for a second. Why? What do you think? I'm going to start falling apart here? I play the comedy store. I go on after Jimmy Carr. You know how it's aggressive over there, man. I almost got into a fight with Louis C.K., but nobody wants to talk about it. He stuck to me. I go, Louis, you played softball. I'm a baseball player. Back off. I'm kidding. I just made up that story. This guy's a good guy. Where are you visiting from? Philadelphia, back east. Went to school in Massachusetts. You're out here working at Emerson. What do you do? Where'd you grow up? France. France. You know what? That's east. Give her a nice hand. Yes. And when I lived in New York City, where did I work? A French restaurant, Cafe Un Du Trois on 44th and 6th across the street from Virgil's Barbecue. Does anybody know where that is? You need to adventure out. Was I in the hangover? Yeah. And I'm a kid from Reseda who drove a Pinto. Okay, I wasn't prom and I didn't go to bar mitzvah. I... I, that always makes me laugh. <laughs> but what do I know? I can't tell you how many pilots have gotten picked up off my presentations. Okay, I walk on Radford lot and the gates open. I'm in that world. It's all just cadence. This guy's cool. Where you have good energy? Are you? You're not French. No. You're not, do you have an accent, though? I'm from Oregon. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oregon uh, is, is the Florida of the Northwest. There's a, there's a lot of stuff. What are you... I'm doing a bit, and you're pointing. You're distracting a professional who just got a call back. I just got a call back uh, to be an extra on a podcast. Uh, I faxed Mark Marin, and then he said talk to Rogan, and then Rogan said talk to Corolla, and they're giving me the runaround. I deserve it. I, gotta, I have a CB radio. I'll pull over the two. Whatever. I caught my roommate masturbating. This happened to us all. I caught my roommate masturbating. Um, he fell out of the bunk bed directly into my arms. <laughs> yes! That's a joke that will work at, in any comedy club and any fish taco restaurant. <laughs> and it felt good. I'm taking a chance by putting this on Periscope. Yes. <laughs> Let's break news. This is an uprising. Wasn't that a, a mini-series, The Uprising? Didn't do very well. All right, good, good. I like that. Where you? Where'd you go to high school? Uh, Sagnatious. Sagnatious. It sounds religious. I bet you there's more than one. What's is that? In New York? San Francisco. I knew something like that. <laughs> and what you you were? You're an editor. No. Animator. No. Something with an ER at the end. Uh, doctor. Doctor, yes. You're a doctor? Give this guy a nice hand. He's a doctor. <laughs> Apparently, that doesn't play in this town. All right. Should he have said he's a casting director? A script doctor? Did you go to Stanford? Uh, UCLA. UCLA, yes. I've been there 17 days. They said I had a gun on Twitter. That's another story. 
Where did my grandmother go to college? UCLA graduated 1932, the first graduating class on the Westwood campus, thank you. And the old UCLA, where is that? Right over there, Vermont, LA City, Braille Institute, whatever. <laughs> the original UCLA is on Vermont, am I correct? I did not know that. Could somebody Google that for me? <laughs> I'm a good guy. <laughs> Forgetting my jokes. You have, you're an artist, you have great energy. Are you an artist? She's an artist, I was right. Are you a graffiti artist? Yeah, I've been arrested for it. There you go, I can tell. I can tell, you should go up to Portland, get some work up there. He's got a protester vibe, the skaters with the backpacks are here. You don't think I do neighborhood watch in Valley Village? You don't think I do? I'm looking for skateboarders with backpacks and 30 year olds on BMX bikes. They're out there, I've seen two tip jars stolen from Starbucks. I witnessed it. It was an older tweaker type. A tweaker type. He was probably... I think it was like more like actually like a heroin. <laughs> hey, it happens. You got to be careful. Put out positive energy. Give it up for positive energy. Give it up for a great show. <laughs> Give it up for Los Angeles, the best comedy city in the world. Because if we're a sanctu sanctuary city and it's good for comedy. <laughs> and that's about it. Oh, come at me. Don't blame me. I voted for Pence. Back off. <laughs> Yes, impeach Pence. Impeach Pence. First. What's that? First. First. There then, you go. Then you impeach Trump. There you go, however you want to do it. I walked by the Trump uh, star on Hollywood. It was like people just left it alone. We're working together finally. Trust my instincts. I grew up in the Valley, Reseda, 818 till I die. Public schools. Oh! I lost you because you don't want to hear the blue collar story. Oh, uh, uh, the, the valley's bad, really? Then why is workaholics based there, their offices? The valley's bad? Why did Seinfeld shoot all of his episodes on the Radford lot? Call back to the Radford lot. Who knows? I had to bring that up. Roseanne, Radford lot. Parks and Rec, valley. The office, Valley. <laughs> Corrupt Scrubs. Scrubs, Valley. Sick of people being mean to the Valley. Thank you. I got maybe a quarter of you back. Um, just talk a little more. Yes. I don't know when my next paid gig is. I can be honest with you. I don't know. You have anything I can maybe play? Like some like are you to play like I'll play along to a beat or something. <laughs> I'm the house drummer at the Guitar Center. I think, you know, I used to hang up. Let's rock this thing out. Do you guys like rock and roll? I went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Nickelback, believe it or not, has a tour jacket of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You like Nickelback? You got their new yeah. single. Nickelback has a tour jacket at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, it's in the Lost and Found. Uh, <laughs> do we have any rock and roll? I want a quick story about Brody Stevens. First of all, we miss you, buddy. You always bring a smile to our face, just the memory. And I don't the think this message is going to Brody. Oh, it's not going to Brody Stevens. Yeah. But, okay. 
I will say this, that we think about Brody all the time. We, we do. About the time he warmed up our uh, sports pilot we did for Comedy Central, and he kept the audience warm for six hours of tape. We were in the fifth hour, and he would just point to someone and say, where are you from? They would name the town they were from, and he would name the high school. And the highway that ran near it. It was, it was at some point... Alameda we, High! The 101! You got it! It literally was just him. He was like his own version of MapQuest. He was Google Maps. He was Google Maps. And that was warming up the crowd, and the crowd was loving it. And of course, we were loving it, and um, I don't know. I just, I miss him all the time. I love that Comedy Gives Back is doing this. I think it is super important that we take care of the people that we know and love people who might be struggling with mental health issues. So thank you to Comedy Gives Back, a, an awesome organization that we've been a part of uh, for doing an event like this, and Zach and everybody else participating. And uh, we love you, Brody, and we miss you every day. You got it! Yes!